they found my mom. They found her at TBS. Oh my god. Ah, mommy. Ah. My brother took my mom to Yaba Psychiatric Hospital. He left the reception to go to another building in the hospital, the same compound. He wasn't more than a minute. This was shorter than any other time he had to leave my mom on that same day, at that same reception. On getting back, my mom was nowhere to be found. She's not mad. If you talk to her, she, can, she responds. She can communicate. She can have a proper conversation. You know, most times she has lost the memory. My mom's name is Vivian Isioma John. My mom has uh, a case of mild dementia, which means she forgets a lot of things, but not everything. Um, she has had this for a year and some now. We've been treating her at home, just doing as much as we could because I couldn't, and my entire, my brother, my dad is late, and we've not been able to afford the care which is Yaba Psychiatric Hospital. So I personally have been saving up, so I got enough eventually to be able to take my mom to a psychiatric hospital so that she can get the care that she needed. And on the 25th, which was Friday, my brother had to go alone because my eldest brother is serving in Enugu and my sister is in school in Delson. It's just myself and my elder brother and my mom at home. I was working on Friday, so I couldn't go with my brother. He took my mom alone to Yaba Psychiatric Hospital. By 8 o'clock I was there. I waited for some time, then I was asked to come in, of which I was asked to go make payment upstairs. My mom was downstairs. So I left, I go make the payment, came back. I took about 20 minutes, I came back. She was still there. The doctor came and they called us in. We talked to the first doctor and all that. Then they were not able to deduce one or two. They had to call us in for another, <clears throat> another discussion. Then after that, the doctor prescribed the drugs that was necessary and some tests that we need to do. Unfortunately, the time was not enough for us to do the tests. So we were asked to come back the following day. Then they gave me the prescription to go to the chemist, to the pharmacist, to help. Then they deduced the necessary uh, bills that was necessary. Then asked me again to go make payment upstairs, of which I did, of which I didn't take up to three minutes. I went on my way back. I didn't see my mom. Okay, so immediately I ran to the counter when we first did the necessary complaint, necessary complaint. But they said they don't need my mom. So I had to quickly, with panic, run out to the gates, to the first gate, then the second gate, came back again to make the same complaint that I can't find my mom. They said they don't know who she is, that probably she might have left or gone out. So immediately I ran back to go check, check outside, came back in again, rushed back again, and said, ah, I can't find my mom. Nobody seemed to even pay attention. They were not even listening. They couldn't do anything. So immediately I just ran out. I was so panicked. I was so angry and I was frustrated. I started roaming about Yaba till about 8.37, 8.39. I was tired and exhausted. Nobody attended to him. Two hours. He had to leave. He came back home thinking that he had lost my mom, crying and all of that. We had to go back the next day, which we did. I followed this time around. We got to Yaba Psychiatric Hospital on the 26th, that's the next day after the incident, to ask if they have any records. There's an installed CCTV camera at the reception. We asked them if they could get the footage so we can see and then know that our mom left the hospital and how she left so that we can start to know how to track her. Also, we went back there to ask if they could help out in whatever way they could. Is there a procedure for looking for people who go missing here? But nobody responded to us. Just like my brother the previous day on the 25th, we were ignored. Probably because the CCTV doesn't work. I don't know, I, I, I don't know if it works because they, they didn't even, they were not clear. The nurses at the reception said the chief nurse might be somebody to talk to. We waited 14 minutes, 14 minutes for someone who was upstairs at our office to come back and explain to us how it is or at least empathize with us. And when she came down, the head nurse she called herself, the chief nurse rather, of Yaba Psychiatric Hospital, she came down and started to speak a whole lot of English as to why this is not their problem, that it is our problem and we have to fix it. As a matter of fact, she outrightly said that there was nothing we can do. 
that the next time we show up at the hospital, they will use police officers to pick us up. Look at how we are dressed, in other words. And I, I personally cannot understand that because I am a child looking for his mother at an hospital where she got missing. And the entire staff at Yaba Psychiatric Hospital did nothing to help us find her until this entire thing blew up on Instagram. They were so like just care about it. They were not concerned. We had to make a scene in order for them to tell us who the security personnel are. It was bad. Then we came. They took us to uh, the, the wherever the guard where we, the head of the security there. We went there and we were having a discussion. Instead of them to issue us the individual who can roam about the hospital to do one or two check, but we were just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. It's full time, then we were we angry. We went to the police station to make the complaint. And they said probably when it's, when it's probably um, 4, 4.15 before they have to declare what, which was the exact time where everything happened. And they came back to the, to, the, um, to the hospital to make the complaints and these guys were never responsible. On Monday, the 28th, I went back there with a crowd and already established noise about what had happened. And the only thing a group of ESCOs, I imagine them to be, was trying to do was damage control the entire situation. Still not caring if my mom was still missing. They said in their words they were going to contribute to looking for my mom. I've been out with friends and the other crowd that cared enough to join me in looking for my mom. Even though we met these escorts, the MD and every other minion of his, we met them and they said they were going to establish reports or, or communication with police officers from Mushi, Sabo. They just said all that they could say to avoid saying or helping out. I personally feel like this is a case in Nigeria where everybody waits until there's a rich person or somebody who looks like they are esteemed enough before they attended to. Personally, I do not want any problem for the hospital because there are still people who have their loved ones there and are hoping to get the care that they need there. It would be great if the public can actually donate towards helping them establish the CCTV at Yaba Psychiatric Hospital because that would go a long way to secure even the already patients. They said there are about 500 patients. But my mom could go missing just like that. It means nobody is safe there. But the staffs there that were nonchalant about my mom missing and every other thing related to that, of course, there has to be some level of punishment because this ESCO has also said that, in their words, this is not their mode of conduct. But I don't believe it because they are still not doing anything about punishing the individuals who are responsible for not paying any attention to my brother after he had run all over the place. To find my mom because she's not an already established patient is wrong at every ounce of the word. And nobody's relative or loved one is safe there if personnel like that are still working in that space. Nobody. She's not mad. She's not, she, she responds. If you talk to her, she, can, she responds. She can communicate. She can have a proper conversation. You know that most times she has lost her memory. They found her. They found her at TBS. We're currently headed towards them. But they found my mom. What's Mommy, what's your name? What's name? Oh my God. Mommy, what's your name? Mommy, do you remember me? Who am I? <laughs> hey, Mommy. Oh. Ah. Mm. Ah, Mommy. Mm. Ah. Oh my God. Ah, Mommy. Ah. The woman was seen around 4 p.m. Okay. So the woman passed through both phases of the both phases of the assessment. According to the information available, he, he, he did not really escalate it on that Friday. Okay. You understand? Because if to say there have been two, 
And that's why we normally encourage those who bring patients that they should not come alone. If you cannot come with police with them, come at least two of the family members so that one will be with the patient, one will be going uh, up and down to do the necessary processing. Because sometimes our patients may not cooperate or they may not know what they are doing. Now, if it's for the boy now to escalate it, that very day to escalate it and say, this is what is happening, no, please help me, please do this, please do that. The, the boy just went home with the hope that the mother will be at home. So instead for them to also come back again in the evening or in the night, they now came back around 2 p.m. on Saturday. It was on that Saturday that they now escalated it. And then the people in the hospital, my staff and everybody, the social worker, we now started alerting the police, writing reports, getting the pictures. That was when we started the uh, search process because we normally find our patients. So uh, sometimes our patients will be walking around the hospital. Yes. So uh, it was on Saturday now that we now started the search process, both with them and then with the hospital staff and with the police. We now had a meeting with them. Mm. We now have to, have to talk to them. We, we the top management members of the hospital. We mm. talk to them. We let them know. This is the area where there are some little, little lapses. So when they now know that actually we did not even it down. So they were also impressed. They, ah, they didn't know that this kind of a thing, but the major mistake was that that boy did not it. escalate. Yeah, it did not escalate on Friday. If you say if the thing was escalated on Friday, we'll get we'll get uh, within one hour.